What's up? It's Caroline with Fleet Key, and today we are going to be talking about the best beginner running shoes. When you're just getting started on your running journey, it can feel overwhelming trying to find your perfect fit. That's why we put together an alphabetized list of the six best running shoes for beginners. Let's get started. This list is based on thorough testing from our shoe review team, vigorous conversations, and input from our stores across the country. Now, as we run through this list, keep in mind that it's always recommended to head into your local fleet feet for an expert one-on-one -on -one outfitting. When creating our list of the best beginner running shoes, we kept three things in mind, fit, versatility, and price point. Obviously, you want your shoes to fit well and feel good. Think roomy in the toe box, but snug in the heel and midfoot. Second, you want your shoes to be versatile enough for a variety of different runs from long runs to speed work. While you may not be focused on building mileage or speed intervals just yet, it's nice to have one shoe that can handle all of your runs. The last thing we consider for a beginner running shoe is the price point. It's important to invest in a quality pair of running shoes. But since running hasn't consumed your soul just yet, why break the bank? Now that you know what makes a good beginner running shoe, let's get started. First up on our list is the Asics Gel Cumulus 25. This shoe is soft and lightweight, mimicking what running on a cloud feels like, or what we think running on a cloud would feel like. But the best part about this shoe is that it's got a little bit of bounce in the midsole to put some pep in your step. Fleet Feet reviewer Mandy says, I love the cushion and comfort that the new Cumulus brings with the soft and bouncy cushioning. I've used this shoe for everything, from walking the dog and running errands to easy runs and speed work, and I'm always excited to put this shoe on my foot. Asics really knocked it out of the park with this one. Next up on our list is the Brooks Ghost 15. Now this shoe has been a fan favorite amongst beginner and experienced runners alike, mostly because it's so aptly named. It's so comfortable, you won't even know you're wearing it. It's running shoe sorcery. We love the Brooks Ghost 15 because it has an accommodating shape that fits a wide variety of runners. It also features innovative materials underfoot, like a nitrogen-infused midsole and a grippy outsole that holds up to slick pavement. Fleet Feet reviewer Nate says, Brooks has been fine-tuning their cushioning and you can really feel it come into play in the Ghost 15. The shoe feels wonderfully responsive in the forefoot while retaining an extra softness in the heel, making it very adaptable to different running styles and different types of workouts. The next shoe on our list is the Hoka Clifton 9. It's soft, lightweight, and comfortable, and always available in fun colorways, making it a favorite amongst both new and experienced runners alike. The Clifton 9 is classically Hoka, which means it comes with a super cushioned midsole and Hoka's signature meta rocker shape, which makes heel-to-toe transitions smoother and more efficient. Efficiency is the name of the game when it comes to distance running. If you can find a shoe that makes running feel just a tad smoother, hold on to it. Fleet Feet reviewer Kate says, the cushioning in the Hoka Clifton offers such a distinct sensation. It's lightweight with a soft step and feel, but the cushion doesn't stay compressed. It's firm enough to provide a stable platform to push off from, yet still provide ample protection from the pounding of the road. Number four on our list is the New Balance 880 V13. We often compare the 880 to a trusty Honda Civic. While it may not offer all the bells and whistles of a fancy sports car, it offers everything you need to get you to your destination safely, on time, and within budget. The 880 is built on a bed of Fresh Foam X, New Balance's softest and lightest foam compound. It also features a firmer, denser foam compound underneath the forefoot. What does this mean for you? You'll enjoy a soft, cushioned sensation upon landings and a firmer, energetic feel during takeoffs. It's also available in four different widths. So if you really like the feel of the shoe, you'll be sure to find your perfect fit. Number five on our list is the On Cloud Go. The On Cloud Go offers just enough cushioning to spring you forward with each step while still staying light on your feet. This shoe features On's Cloud Tech cushioning technology, which is that funky looking series of pods underfoot that you may be wondering about. The Cloud Tech pods compress upon landings and flex during takeoffs to spring you forward, supporting you through each phase of the gait cycle. Fleet Feet reviewer Alex says, the On Cloud Go is definitely a Goldilocks shoe. The cushioning is soft without being squishy and protective while still being reasonably responsive. The shoes are light enough to not weigh down my feet at all, but feel substantial in the sense of stability and durability. Last, but certainly not least, is the Saucony Ride 16. The Saucony Ride 16 is similar to the Brooks Ghost 15 in that it offers a subtle, distraction-free fit 
that you won't even notice is there. I took the Ride 16 on a six mile wear test run and I actually forgot that I was supposed to be wear testing. The shoes were so comfortable, I forgot that they were even there and I just focused on the run. I also really appreciated the Gilly lacing system. The extra loops the laces feed through outside of the regular lace cage. Both our wide-footed reviewers and our narrow-footed reviewers were able to find their perfect fit in the Saucony Ride 16. Again, if you're not sure about the width of your feet, you want more precise sizing information, or you just want some friendly running advice, head into your local Fleet Feet and come run with us.